How do you sum up Arbor in only one speech? Many have done so in the past. Why is it so hard for us? Well, how do we start? Have it a quote. Seth Heller did that. But all of our quotes seem a little more, well, off topic. Well, okay, never mind that idea. How about a theme to base our speech around? Friends? Classes? Teachers? Music? Colors? Colors, Danielle, really? <laughs> so maybe not any of those. Maybe all of those? What truly is Arbor? Well, the truth is there's not one thing that sums up any one person's experience at Arbor. Everyone sees it differently. Everyone has a different journey but certain memories will stay with us forever. And not everyone starts their journey at the same time. I started when I was three. I came when I was four. I came when I was 12, but I still feel like I've been a part of this community since the beginning. Community. community. Isn't that what it's all about? Growing up, becoming part of the world in which we live? There's something, there's something, there's a point we can use. Arbor is a community. It's a place in which we learn how to live. It's a place in which we can foster and grow as a class as friends, and as a family. Useful. Here we don't just learn how to memorize facts. We learn skills that will take us far in life. Humanities teaches us to take lessons from the past. Occupations teaches us how to live. Debate teaches us public speaking. Basketball teaches us how to work as a team. Leadership roles teach us how to take responsibility. Production cycle teach us, teaches us how to step outside our comfort zones. And being with each other teaches us respect. 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 Respect for ourselves, respect for each other, and respect for the world around us. But this is not the old-fashioned type of respect. It's not calling your teachers Mr. Thorpe and Miss Fox. No, it's being able to look at someone who's different from you and only see the similarities between yourselves. Diversity. Diversity. Seeing the world as one, knowing in your hearts that we are all the same inside, we are all people, and we all deserve compassion. 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 Teachers who care about you. Teachers who listen to you. Teachers who help you through thick and thin without ever having to be asked. Teachers who come in early and leave late, always going the extra mile to show their dedication to their students. Teachers who accept us for who we are and who give us the freedom to be who we want to be. Freedom. freedom. From the very first day at Arbor, you will notice something different. There are no desks. The teachers don't stand up in front of the class and give a lesson. There are less rules. But does that mean there are more chaos? there is more chaos? No way. The students care for each other and help each other. A class of 40 primary students needs roughly two teachers to keep order because each student takes responsibility for themselves and their surroundings. Responsibility. Being responsible for others around you. Like when you take up our lead when we like when we take up our leadership roles and take responsibility for the classroom. We have a responsibility to learn as much as we can so we're ready to take on the roles as, of adults. And the responsibility that is taught at Montessori schools makes us makes even the smallest children want to learn more. Desire, Desire to learn. learn. Wanting to take in as much information as possible and wanting to use that information to do something more with your life. Even young children want to become doctors, firefighters, engineers, writers, and even ballerinas. And children will take anything they can to help achieve their dreams. Dreams. Dreams, dreams aren't just what happens when you sleep. Dreams are your hopes and wishes for the future. And here at Arbor, we learn the skills we need to reach those dreams. Our speech is starting to come to close, as is our time here at Arbor. We just need one more word that reflects our experiences here. Something strong, something powerful. Hmm. Elephants. <laughs> Wrestlers? Guys, be serious here. What is really one of the most important, powerful things here at Arbor? Friends. Friends. Friends that will last a lifetime. Friends that will always be there for you. Wherever we go, whatever we do, whomever we meet, we will always be there for each other. So we come back to our original question. What is Arbor? Arbor is all of this and so much more. Community. Useful. Respect. Diversity. Compassion. Freedom. Responsibility. Desire to learn. Dreams. Friends. And so, so much more. And so this speech must come to an end, as, as, as our time at Arbor has. But no matter what, the lessons we learned here at Arbor will stay in our hearts. Forever. Forever.